Hello everyone, welcome back to multi-channel YouTube. This video is about uh, doing some maintenance, lubricant cleaning on uh, uh, 9000. Also, uh, the main main purpose for this video is about uh, a friend requested on how to replace a presser foot. And uh, so I'm uploading this video, I hope it will be very helpful for him or at least uh, give him idea on what's going on or to help him replacing the presser foot and to help other viewers um, doing some maintenance cleaning and lubricant the machine because it's so important doing regular maintenance from time to time And uh, so there's are, uh, there are some uh, common problems you may face with the Alana sewing machine. Uh, first of all, this, this uh, sewing machine, a really good one, but it's not uh, easy to use. Uh, it's uh, complicated because it uh, runs on, uh, has a complicated mechanical and electrical system both work together to give you uh, so many different design stitches Desi and uh, <clears throat> and the uh, reason uh, not like other um, regular old machines just mechanical but uh, maybe the new machines are even more complicated Besides that, this machine has a, a computerized system and uh, two uh, memory uh, slots, which is also making it even more complicated. I don't uh, have time to read everything, all the instructions and everything. I'm not really a uh, sewing machine operator or something, just a hobby for me. But I do a lot of maintenance for machines, uh, fixing, repairing, and uh, also. Uh, so as you can see, this one um, very easy to remove. Um, just uh, lock and bottom. You need to push all the way down to remove the top one or push it all the way on the top to remove the bottom uh, slot memory slot by the way I bought this machine from second-hand store which is cheap and the uh, owner sold it to me I thought there was something wrong with it which is also actually when I bring it home I found uh, I, when I brought it home I found something it was not doing right a lot of dirt uh, so I had to fix it and it runs really good this is, this is just uh, the battery uh, feed the, uh, the memory slot the computerized uh, memory slot system located underneath of the machine two uh, double A's batteries Though this uh, one I never use so I'm just gonna remove the batteries it's not a good idea to have them there otherwise the batteries uh, after time they will leak some acids and make some problems so I'm just gonna remove them and uh, I saw some like wire you can see it here is sticking out so I'm just gonna remove the battery holder or the battery bucket and uh, install it probably simply doing some uh, regular cleaning to avoid this uh, any problem and to refer with you with your uh, sewing machine if you do not uh, oil the sewing machine regularly, you will run into bigger problems later on. Mm. 
miss uh, threading if there is if you have a problem with uh, m missing threading that this happens to the best uh, of the sewers also and uh, at the worst time simply uh, the worst time the worst case scenario it, ha it won't uh, do any good uh, stitches so simply uh, re-thread your machine by follow the right instruction noise from a sewing machine usually if you have uh, cleaned your machine it means that the bobbing or uh, or the bobbing case is loose so reinsert both to stop this from taking place to remove the cover you can see there are uh, six screws in the back those are plastic cover above the screws uh, so easy to break I broke some of them before and because uh, they are so old um, so the best is just take it easy and very slow move them if they are broke or something uh, very easy to stick them back using crazy glue instant crazy glue you will see in this uh, video later on and uh, about their friends requesting uh, replacing the presser foot um, unfortunately I could not uh, do full video on how to replace it because uh, it will take maybe a very long time I didn't I didn't know it is so complicated I thought it would be so easy but uh, um, I hope uh, whatever uh, it's in this video uh, will give you uh, at least an idea or to help you um, to um, figure out how to do it if you decide to do it yourself and you can see uh, at uh, when you watch this video at the before the end of this video you can see why it's complicated there there is a lot of uh, other parts related needs to be removed before uh, replacing the presser foot back cover is so easy to remove just uh, take your time be patient and uh, slowly pull uh, pull out a little bit and uh, it comes out so easy there are six screws three long one and three shorts and there is one cover which is fake that's the main model for drives the machine I really love this machine it's very very piece of art and uh, it lasts for a very long time if you if someone takes takes care of it but you can see um, there is a lot of complications in this machine for any kind of maintenance or if someone does not have the knowledge or enough experience and uh, it's always better to read all the manual manual book about troubleshooting uh, before you do any maintenance <coughs> so the uh, presser foot uh, has also it's a mechanical and electrical 
in the same time you can see there are two wires connected to the presser foot and those wires are for attachments uh, accessories uh, if you uh, if you add them to the machine I'm not really sure um, how um, they work and uh, but uh, uh, it's uh, not uh, just simply attach any kind of um, accessories um, yeah, yeah I think you need to read um, more about it so you know what uh, those, two, those two wires are for so easy to remove and install back I'm just uh, basically um, showing uh, in this video um, um, in case if someone decided to fix the machine or doing some maintenance so i hope this will help will help people to solve their problem with the omna 9000 So if the cell machine does not, uh, so what could be the problem? Um, could be the power cord or foot pedal uh, problem, loose or uh, frayed wire, may fried wires maybe. You. Uh, maybe fail to turn the machine on or put the needle in the wrong uh, position maybe and there are a lot of other uh, issues related to this uh, problem so I'm just gonna remove uh, the covers piece by piece as you can see here the bobbing case is different than uh, old uh, or regular uh, sewing machine and uh, it's a uh, so what you to have it in a correct position um, you need to put it and then kind of there is a little hook you go around the silk has to go around that little hook and then once you rotate the machine with your hand the needle will pick will pick will pick up the uh, silk steel cover is so easy to remove um, however there are the two screws on the top are, those are holding the steel cover and by tightening them or losing them uh, it gives you the right adjustment to hold the steel cover And the lower case, lower case cover, it has one screw, the other one is missing. It 
it's so easy to remove it and uh, <clears throat> so I can have an access to the bobbing uh, case always the best to use uh, a sewing, sewing machine uh, lubricant it works the best but if you don't have it you can use uh, maybe uh, grease or if the machine really stuck first uh, clean it and then use DW40 to lose any uh, stock or lock joints then um, once it's loosed and f free to rotate you can use grease to grease it up all, all over and or you can uh, spray uh, a grease can which I will, I will show you in, the, in this video the white uh, uh, stuff you see here uh, it's just white grease I had it a uh, long time ago so there is a video uh, on the multi-channel YouTube on how to fix on 9000 and that video also you can watch uh, it's helpful I hope for a lot of uh, people uh, owns this machine <clears throat> and uh, in that video also you see that I found um, a silk was uh, round round around uh, on the arm which is uh, made the machine not doing any good stitches So this uh, little um, bottoms you see it's for uh, adjust the lower uh, foot of the grabber to make it to the right uh, you make it high or low And I think it has only two positions either keep it low or high so about the Alna 9000 um, I found this machine it's very sensitive machine too and that's why it's important to doing uh, maintenance cleaning lubricant from time to time this uh, screw is to adjust the lower uh, steel uh, foot for uh, to do even more high or low and uh, the speed also and uh, so it's important to check this uh, screw to have on the right uh, position not too tight not to lose here I, you can see the little uh, piece which is for adjustment and I accidentally just uh, touched it and then uh, it just went to the wrong uh, uh, wrong position so I'm trying to put it on the center you can see it's uh, kind of went to the right too much and it has a three uh, different position and so I'm just gonna keep it in the center I'm not sure if I keep it uh, to the left position or to the right uh, how I can see here how, how it's gonna work because I haven't tried it yet but uh, I'll keep it as a factory uh, which is in the center 
and there are three little um, small holes on the, down there to keep that little thing on the center or left or right so to remove the uh, face cover there are three screws only one of all the way there and two on the right side So another troubleshooting about Anna 9000 uh, when uh, uh, sewing machine won't stop. Uh, when this happens, check to see if you do not uh, have a short in the wiring. Short on the wiring that means uh, the wiring are kind of uh, burn some of them burn out um, or not uh, connected probably so it's better to check uh, all the wiring system to make sure they are connected not uh, any uh, short uh, short of them short uh, it can also uh, keep the model running as uh, all control is lost and uh, devices designed to stop the model or uh, rain if you have uh, the fried wires fried wires that be burned or something you should replace them also check the foot bellow which is uh, paddle foot paddle is very important also main problem for um, operate the machine uh, the capacitor that little part may be source of the problem if that uh, has computer chip you you uh, you would need to take the machine to a approved repair man or something and have it checked and they get better fixed or replaced also check the switches the switch uh, to see if the wires are loosed or uh, stop uh, stop it from the shutting the machine off that could be another problem too if the hand wheel stuck uh, the most common cause for this problem is the uh, somehow you threaded your machine wrong and you will have to uh, rethread your machine and try hand wheel once again if it's still stuck then you need to move on to other causes uh, the inner knob may be the problem for uh, older Anna sewing machine if it's locked then your hand wheel you uh, your hand wheel may not uh, turn uh, just uh, Dyson uh, gauge and the, the owner wheel and then 
disengage uh, sorry the, uh, disengage the inner wheel and then see if uh, if your router wheel turns again the next uh, up is the bobbing area if it's uh, dirty or filled with uh, old thread then uh, your hand wheel normally won't turn remove the case and do uh, throughout cleaning now uh, if the hand wheel uh, do not uh, move one bobbing case is out uh, of the machine then you will have to go to the surface department or someone uh, to fix the machine If the needle not moving so before we go to the troubleshooting again uh, uh, so let's talk about uh, uh, adjust uh, adjusting distance uh, you can see uh, that's the wire just for uh, battery easy to hook and release also move move or hooked again and you can see uh, this machine has a double uh, electrical board and that's why I was saying it's really complicated because it's a computerized machine and it has a lot of uh, uh, electrical ICs and uh, some of them like for memories and some of them for um, to program the machine and other functions If the needle not moving, uh, some simple cases are easy to fix. When this uh, problem stop stops your machine, uh, you stopping your uh, selling time. The first step is to ask uh, two questions. First, is the machine turned on? Second, is the machine plugged in then because you need to push the puddle wire really hard in to make sure it's connected to the right position next uh, listen to your motor when it when you uh, when uh, pressing the foot puddle if the If, the, if you hear any noise or something that means your model is still running or stuck if they you don't hear any noise that means uh, the model is burned out maybe or if you hear the noise it could be the belt was uh, was uh, not connected or, or maybe broken most case um, it could be the uh, broken belt and it's so easy to replace the belt I will also uh, add in descriptions about parts if you need to buy any parts or uh, any kind of other things you need for Anna specifically for uh, Anna 9000 so um, here you can see 
uh, it's a very complicated mechanical um, and uh, in order to replace the that's just uh, for uh, thread uh, adjustment and you can if this one uh, broken or not doing any adjustment it's so easy to uh, make it work we'll remove the, the white uh, dial and then there is a uh, Philip screw a Phillips screw you need to tighten it, it uh, this uh, uh, it could be loosed and once it's tied then that uh, thread uh, adjustment will work again so in order to um, replace the presser foot uh, you need to basically remove uh, entire um, mechanical parts in, in this area so you can uh, <coughs> remove the or replace the presser uh, foot and uh, it's just adjustment three positions the presser foot it has a, a lot of uh, different uh, connections in the same time and is connected with the needle uh, with the threading system with adjust adjusting uh, uh, pressure system and uh, so um, you will see uh, what you need to do in order to remove the presser foot there are a few screws on the sides maybe two in the back and uh, all those screws need to be removed the reason I didn't do it because it's gonna take me a long time so I'm sorry I have to uh, I haven't I, I couldn't do um, didn't have enough time actually to do this also to remove the lower part only for the presser um, foot uh, there are there is a one screw only and you can see very tiny Philip screw um, this one you just lose it and then the lower part of the presser uh, foot will be released Um, so if the Anna sewing machine is keeping stitches how to fix this first of all check uh, your needle first uh, if if it's not an Anna needle or it's maybe wrong size uh, it's not set in the right position you may have to replace it or by uh, one made by Anna which is works great for Anna machines or the needle is bent uh, maybe a small part of the needle broken which you can't see or so it's always check the needle first and also the other problem it's the threaded uh, probably the threaded probably is not correct also that can uh, lead to uh, uh, machine uh, skip uh, skipping stitches and uh, right needle for the right fabric too so uh, 
the fabric is too thick and it's not made to for the specific needle or specific threads it could be also uh, causing machine uh, skipping st stitches and uh, so this uh, about the uh, presser foot again as I mentioned I made this video specifically to um, the friend he asked me uh, about uh, how to replace it so in the side there are screws and you can see uh, one two three almost but maybe three uh, three screws those are need to be removed and uh, once you remove them you can see why it's uh, the presser foot is complicated because it need you need to remove all those uh, parts first uh, in order to uh, replace the presser foot so the screws I was talking about uh, you can see the what two in the top one in the two in the bottom That part is easy to remove the cover and you can see that that screw is just the thread adjustment to make it tight or loose There are two washer lockers also in the back <coughs> to remove, yeah, to remove that piece. And uh, you'll see in the video um, where are the two locker washers uh, in the back, so you can remove them in order to uh, replace that piece. Um, you can see um, there is a, a few different uh, movements in the same time once you lift up the presser foot and they all connected together it's not really hard to do um, but you need to take your time and follow uh, instruction and uh, you will easily uh, find out how to replace it eventually Anna sewing machine can be great machines, but they are they may develop issues over the years and create uh, minor problems so learning up, uh, about those uh, common problems, always check the uh, community's uh, website, uh, asking questions. Uh, there's also a great website it's called fixia.com. And uh, that can help you to uh, find out uh, 
about fixing some problems also. So those uh, two locker washers, one in the top, one in the bottom, actually there are three, and one all the way in the top. I have uh, searched in uh, Google trying to find uh, the manual instruction or the sorry the surface uh, book the maintenance and surface book and uh, couldn't find uh, free they all um, uh, like start from uh, charge about uh, start five dollars up to twenty dollars I will uh, put on description some websites uh, they can offer full um, on the eight thousand nine thousand uh, sewing machine instruction manual and surface manual uh, you can check that on description too if you like um, on uh, some of them come with CD, uh, some of them book, fast shipping, and uh, some link on eBay and other websites. I will have them all um, on description below. So this uh, um, grease I was talking about, uh, the spray white grease, it works fantastic moisture resist and uh, has a lot of other benefits shake it a little bit and just speed up here the video I'm spraying pretty much all over the joints all the mechanical movements and everything else um, to make sure it's uh, really um, oil gets all over all the grease so it gets all over the parts where it needs to be so we bought my head <laughs> just show it in the front of the camera Yes, uh, just to, by the way, like any kind of uh, maintenance for those machines, you need to have a lot of uh, patience and good time, spend your time to make sure everything is done right. Uh, so I'm trying to put everything back together again. Uh, once again, I hope uh, this video uh, to help uh, you or anybody uh, kind of uh, solve any kind of problem or, or at least to um, give you an idea on how to um, at least disassemble open face covers and stuff like that, uh, cleaning and uh, once again about uh, i'm really sorry i couldn't um, do the entire uh, video about uh, uh, removing or replacing the presser foot 
uh, it's gonna take me very long time and uh, um, I just uh, don't really have that time yet um, maybe in the future if uh, somebody brought me a sewing machine I need to be surface or uh, fix repair um, I will be more than happy to do that and uh, at least uh, this video just shows how to do like regular maintenance and uh, you know to give you idea just in case if you decide to fix something or replacing something in your machine two screws and uh, three sorry three screws on the back and then uh, <coughs> the cover back I'm installing with the six screws So uh, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what year the Alma 9000 was made, but I think it was made in 1992, I believe, and, uh, and uh, maybe older, I'm not too sure, but uh, I wrote email to contact Anna um, descri des describing about the issue and asking them uh, how to direction like direction how to wear and where to fix to get parts and you know because uh, surface manual also um, selling it not, not uh, free anymore and I haven't heard from them any time, uh, any soon yet. That little problem also, as, was, as, as mentioned, was for uh, adjusting the the height of the lower foot, and if so, it has two uh, position sets only please uh, I hope you like this video and uh, I hope it will help people and uh, I hope uh, you to uh, subscribe like and share and please support uh, our channel will be um, I'll be much helpful much thankful and uh, grateful to everyone support this channel Please subscribe, like, and share. So about those uh, little uh, finish uh, cover above the screws, 
as I said they um, break easy and I broke some of them when I tried to move them first time but it's so easy to put them back together just I'm using crazy instant glue which is dry in a few seconds 15 or 20 seconds and it's also easy to remove them in the future just by using a flat screwdriver and uh, they can be used again and again I'm just uh, putting just a little bit just enough to hold it in place so by the end of this video um, is the a minute or so just to give a test to the machine how it sounds and how it runs in the future I'm looking to buy a very modern uh, machine uh, made by Jack company I saw uh, in uh, a video on YouTube and th those machines are really fantastic they are really uh, doing much better um, work and everything but they are roughly like average stuff $700 and more so the the light broke also I'm just using uh, crazy glue to stitch to stick it back in uh, place and uh, finally just to give a test here I'm talking about the plug for the foot control you need to press it hard until you hear the click and this is everything Thank you so much for watching and uh, all the best to you. Please, once again, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I uh, will be more than happy to answer any kind of question you leave a comment. And all the best to everyone.